In this short After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick tip on how you can add motion blur to 3D objects, text, or whatever it might be. So I've got this simple scene here that I've set up of a soccer ball just flying in, sort of in slow motion, and I want to add some motion blur onto my 3D model. Now, if you are not aware, if you select your 3D object, enable motion blur, yeah, enable it in the scene here, you can see that it doesn't really do anything. And that is because motion blur is yet to be supported on 3D objects. And hopefully they will be adding that in the future, but there is a workaround you can do. Now for my environment layer, I can simply enable it here and you can see that it applies it onto the 3D environment, but I still wanna apply it to my layer. So what we can do in the latest After Effects version, and I'll show you an alternative as well, but on this version, I can select my 3D object, go to create and create a 3D layer instance. And that basically creates an instance of my model. Now, the cool thing about this is if we animate anything or change anything on our main layer, it will update on the instance here. As you can see, the layer is shut off, so basically it's applied on here. So if I toggle the switches here, you can also see that we have a transfer mode, so we can set different transfer modes and so on, and also add effects. So I'm going to be adding a, a motion blur effect, so CC force motion blur on our instance layer, and now we have motion blur applied onto the 3D object as well. Now an alternative is to pre-compose the 3D object, so we'll drop it into a new composition and I'm going to grab the lights and camera here, also my HDRI environment, copy them, go into the composition, paste them and you can see it updated. So now we just got a composition simply with the 3D model. So now we basically have everything of 3D inside of this pre-comp. So I can do the same thing and just apply a motion blur on top of this. The only downside here is if we want to change the animation or the camera or anything, we basically need to copy paste it all the time. Now another example is with the layer here. The only difference is we have a shadow on our floor. Now I have a solid here for my floor layer just to display the shadows. And we can do the same thing here, so I'm going to go ahead and select my text layer, create and create a 3D instance. Now you can see that the shadow disappears. So that is one downside to this method, but if you can get away with it and still works for you, I hope it helps. So what I usually do in this situation, I just duplicate my text layer and this will be our shadow only. So I'm just going to isolate it, hit AA on my keyboard and under cast shadows, I'll set it to only. We basically got this text layer acting as our shadow only. And I can apply the motion blur onto my instance here, just like before, or pre-compose everything as we've shown. So hopefully this tip helps you out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.